just when you think we didn't have enough projects on the go we just happened across this little beauty now it is a Razor E100 electric scooter now it has no charger but when you plug it on it shows power although not that much very dim and when you try twisting the throttle it dims more but there's no noise coming from the relay on the speed controller so I'm in the process of opening it up and we'll have a look uh, these two at the back had little bolts underneath at the back so I had to get them with the long nose pliers yeah we're just pulling out all the screws on the base plate and get a look at what's underneath it should only be a few parts so it shouldn't be too hard and there we go here's the guts oops dropped it Just butter fingers today. <clears throat> right, we're in. There's the batteries out and out of the way. We need a screwdriver. All the wiring seems good. Good beefy motor on the back of it. Well, I think in the line of scooters it's actually the smallest one, but it's the kind of motor I've been looking for for like a homemade electric bike setup. evident somebody's been at this already so we'll take a look see what we can see so if this is kaput Sprocket and chain it's on it's a 25H so I think that fits the ones we've got for the little engine so we might just pull this apart and do what we always do and shove an engine on it that'd be cool Right there, see the charring, see how that pin's blackened. There's loads of dust all over the board. This thing here, this black thing. 
diode or resistor or whatever it is. That's bad. So it probably needs a new one of them. It's probably at least 20, 30 bucks right there for that. And we don't even know if the batteries are good. If in doubt, rip it out. Hmm. Looks like we shall be sticking a petrol engine on it. Where are we? So yeah. Looks strong. It's definitely sturdy enough metal back here. We could maybe pull all this motor and stuff off. Pull all the tray out. convert it to take an engine that is what we're going to do and here we're just disassembling some of the wires I just took the little casing off the side there pop the pins out Looks like I'll probably have to cut through the plastic just to get the bits out. Should make it easier to cut through so we can retrieve that wire with a plug on it in one piece. I'll go and do that and save you the noise. Snip, snip. Right, well, after breaking some of it, we realised we didn't have to do that at all. We just stuck a pin down the inside, popped the connector through, slipped it out and off. So now that this part is off. Everything is pretty much off. We need to get the motor off. So we need to start unbolting stuff and see where about under here we need to get to. Okay, after much deliberation, thinking, banging, smashing, and a couple of nose picking competitions with a two year old, we have taken off the throttle which is an electronic job and so is the brake which had an electronic shut off all this kit could be very handy so I'm going to keep it by we got the motor which is doesn't seem to be written on it but from what I believe it's a hundred watt decent motor though I kept the plug could be handy for future projects so on that side. Now we have a frame with a back wheel attached to a sprocket that's a 25H which I'm positive fits the sprockets on my gearbox I uh, have one over here no it's not the same size chain at all nope so we need to get a mini motor sprocket 
which won't be too much of a fuss, but I did think that was going to be a straight fit. So gutted about that. So I'm not actually sure what size chain these sprockets fit. It might be a eight, a T eight F. But for just now, we're just tearing down. So we've got everything off the handles, stripped everything off. The brake wires left on. I'll get another brake caliper. Throw that on just now, so the brakes sorted and out the way. Uh, don't know. Probably only going to run it with a front brake. But we'll see. We might. I don't see how the chain's going to go to the engine unless. We get the engine about there, which I don't think is going to happen, but we'll have a look. This is going to be a crazy contraption. This is going to just be a Razor E100 or Razor electric scooter converted into petrol. Should be a laugh. It's small and compact enough. You can take the handles off as well, so it'll fit in the boot of the car to go anywhere. The boys can have a laugh. Yeah, and we'll make everything interchangeable between engines, so we'll run it off of this engine. We just need to find a way to mount it. Let's get to it. Found a quarter turn throttle set, so they'll fit the pipe on the handlebars, so that'll do for just now. We'll get them fitted. Right, we've had another change of plan. We've totally gutted it out. We're not going to put that engine on it, that's going to stay on the bike. We're going to get hold of one of those little mini moto engines. Because I know for a fact they've got a sprocket that fits this. They'll fit on it perfectly. Not only that, the engine mounts from the bottom. So I could use this to mount the engine. And that would leave us all this space. Now I've already hooked up a throttle set. Hooked up a new front brake, so it's just a brake cable and that electric stuff. Pumped up the tyre, which I spent ages searching for valve extenders. They ended up not even working. And if I just pulled the tube with some long nose pliers, I was able to get the foot pump on it. So, bonus. Well, three hour shortcut. Yeah, it's already totally stripped. All the guts and brains of it's over here. All stripped out. Good to go. This is a giant, like, inline roller skate wheel. Huge. I think it's good to go. We've still got the fascia plate. So we could still make that work. We can still have that looking cool. Have the engine coming over the back. Don't know how we're gonna do that. We might bend this part way up and use that as a shield for over the back of the engine. Don't know, it's all guesswork. Probably just chop it somewhere because we need to find out exactly how much space the engine's gonna take up. I don't want it taking up too much space. If it is gonna take up too much space, then we'll have to see about mounting the engine high to leave us as much space as they can in the middle. But yeah, this will be another petrol monster. We'll try and find a chainsaw engine or a mini motor engine. We'll stick it in its place. We'll give this one to Kenzie. Tiny Tim. Little danger mouse. We'll see how he does with that. Yeah, uh, push come to shove, it's probably going to be a 50 pound engine slapped on a bit of tinkering about to get it going if not we'll try and find the second hand broken one and we'll fix it and then we'll shove it up so we don't know when this will continue but it's just to let you see another one of many projects to begin so I'll go for just now guys I need to get some tidying up done we'll try and figure out where we can get an engine and how we're going to mount it. I reckon this will be a little ripper with a mini moto engine on it. Be just as fast as a mini moto. Yeah.